Hey everyone, Ariel Adams here from A Blog to Watch. Please subscribe to our videos on YouTube and like this video if you find it useful. This is a Laco Pilot Watch Original Saarbrücken. Their website can be intimidatingly confusing if you don't know exactly what you're looking at because they have a lot of watches and a lot of ways to categorize watches. This is among the more pure watches that they make that I like. Now Laco is a German brand which is a good thing because they're making a German style watch. This is a new watch, but it's meant to look like a older historic German military watch that has a style called the B-Ur. This is actually the A style dial of the B-Ur. And the idea was that the um, German aviation ministry or something like that came up with a few dial styles that pilot watches needed to have. And then you had various companies making them. So this wasn't really like a watch that one particular company made historically, but there was a few. And you had companies like IWC and even Along and Zone um, and others in Germany, well, IWC was near Germany, making watches uh, like this, which was interesting because that is why you have so many sort of older watches that, that have this look and you're like, oh, who, who originally came up with this? Well, it was apparently the German government. This is the 45 millimeter wide version, and there's also a 42 millimeter wide version if you want something a little bit smaller. I opted to go for the 45 millimeter wide version because pilot style watches of this type are always kind of large, so you always want to err on the side of large. Sometimes I actually wish I'd gone with a 42, and the reason is if you look at the lugs, they kind of stick out a little bit on the straight side, which means they don't really curve. And so what happens is, especially on my petite wrists, well, they're not that petite, but they're, they're petite in terms of uh, the circumference. You can see that the lugs stick out a little bit. And again, on this type of watch, because it's meant to be larger, uh, dare I say oversized, in some instances, yes, it, 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 it's okay. It's also not a particularly thick watch, um, so it doesn't make it look too big. But that's something to be considered of if, if you have a pet peeve of the lug sticking out. And, and arguably, the, the lugs should not be sticking out past your wrist. So there is a 42 millimeter wide size. Uh, the 45 millimeter, um, I think the 42 millimeter is called the Munster, whereas the 42 mil, uh, sorry, the 45 millimeter is the Saarbrücken, and these are, of course, places in Germany. It's also a sterile dial, which is cool because it doesn't say Laco or pretty much anything at all on the dial. There is no text. There's only the hour numerals. And then you have this sort of signature 12 o'clock hour marker that you see on a lot of pilot watches. Black dial, the hands are actually blue color with the loom. You can't really see the blue because it's blue on black. But if you look at it in the right light, you can definitely see that while everything is kind of matte, the hands are a little bit on the polished size. Good length of the hands. Sometimes what can happen is because of the design of the, the hands where the edge of the hand is dark and only the inside is painted with loom, some of that edge can become invisible. So the minute hand, for example, can sometimes look shorter than it is because a lot of the hand is actually a color which doesn't contrast well enough with a dial. Um, and on this watch, they didn't make that mistake. So you can see that seconds hand there goes all the way out to the edge. And that's really what a seconds hand should be doing is going all the way out to the edge. No, no date or anything like that. Just a nice, clean, sterile look for a BUR style pilot watch. And that's exactly what I wanted, complete with rivets on the strap. You got to have a brown leather strap. It could be black with two rivets. I don't know why. It's a historic thing. I, 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 these serve no purpose whatsoever. Right here in this watch, I think what they did is they, this part of the strap needed to loop around so they could hold the lug bar. And I think that's what these rivets were for. Um, they're just here for style, but I'm, I'm glad they're here because I've just, I don't think a watch like this is complete without a look like this. Kind of funny that the case is this sand blasted steel, which looks really cool actually. But the buckle is um, brushed, so it's a little bit shinier. So the buckle doesn't really match the look here. It's a subtle thing. It's not that big of a deal, but um, just something to point out. Inside this watch is an option of a hand wound movement if you really want to go retro, which I didn't 
So I got the automatic movement version, which has a Swiss at a 2824. Nothing special, just a good workhorse Swiss. On the side of the case here, you'll see some letters and numbers. It says FL23883. That's not a serial number. That's not some special code. That was part of that designation of the dial style for the German military. So that was some number related to that. So that basically tells you that this watch satisfies that particular design. Back of the watch, again, they're going sort of the military theme. So that's where you actually see uh, the name Laco, which is on here twice. Um, it's in German, so that's cool. They have the designation, they have the uh, model number, but it's just meant to look a little bit more like an actual instrument, which is a cool look. Um, you know, just putting that in the back of the case there, which is, which is fun. You know, it's just, it kind of goes to the theme there. I mean, it, this is really like a high quality, you know, prop, right? It's a replica of a vintage watch. It's meant to not necessarily say that it's a replica, uh, meaning it's not supposed to look like something from the forties, for example, it's just meant to look like a, like a um, watch from today with that look. And I think that this is one of the, there's a lot of ways of getting this. Um, each has some are better quality than others, but for the money, I think Laco does a really nice job. The only thing that I would change on the watch, as you see here, it has a domed sapphire crystal. There's coating on the inside. I want there to be coating on the outside. You can see as I move the watch around in the light, there's some glare, which is non-preferable. So what I would have done is put coating on top of the crystal as well as under the crystal so that the dial looked you know, like this all the time with no glare. And in my opinion, that would have made it really kind of the perfect be your style or be your vintage style modern day pilot watch. Overall, I like this a lot. I think that this is really perfect for people that are interested in this period of history. Um, politically sensitive topic to discuss, of course, um, or just sort of like this style. This is a nice, handsome, very legible watch. A lot of people want the look, but they don't want a name or anything like that associated with it. You have a nice mechanical movement inside. So this is a good daily wear. Um, get the slightly smaller size if this size concerns you. Um, they even have quartz versions. So there's the automatic hand wound and the quartz version um, of these pilot watches. The quartz may not be available in one this nice, um, but they do have quartz versions as well. So Laco makes a number of watches like this. You just sort of need to carefully look through the selection. So again, this is the Laco Pilot's Watch Saarbrücken. This is their Be Your style. You can even get an aged one. That's right. If you pay like a thousand bucks more, which is actually pretty cheap given what they do, they will pre-age it for you. I've actually wrote an article about that. They're kind of crazy looking, but I want the one that I get to age myself. Retail price for this watch is 990 euros and you can see the full review on a blog to watch thanks